Hi friends, now we are going to talk about not something inside SAP, but something that is very fundamental for audit purpose. And every company that uses SAP has to go through semi-annual or annual audit, which is done by companies uh, like PwC, Deloitte, uh, Accenture, KPMG, ENY, whatever. It, it can be a lot of companies. So here are some things that generally, if you are working as an auditor, you should be taking into account. If you understand this process, this particular diagram, auditing will be very easy. Of course, you have to have reports and all those things that you want to check. But this is the concept you need to understand. So anything which is red color here is fail. Anything yellow with caution and anything green is pass. So with caution, sometimes green, red becomes yellow, green becomes yellow. It never becomes that red becomes green. Okay. Different companies have different process, but you know, uh, but here for sure, if so, I'm just going this, we are going to cover the buyer role, which is very important. A buyer is a person who creates a purchase order to buy something from a vendor. So a buyer role, a buyer cannot create a vendor. It's a no, no. Okay. Uh, so you cannot create a vendor as well as, you know, uh, post a create a purchase order. Okay. A buyer can create a PO and can approve a purchase order. It's the buying force purpose. A buyer cannot create, cannot create, means can create a PO but cannot approve the invoice. Okay. A buyer can create a PO but cannot post an invoice. These are no, no. No matter where you go, it's a no, no. Now, if the approving invoice, sometimes they can still approve, which can be a little yellow if they have like tolerance, broke or something where there is price discrepancy or something. Okay. Uh, then, <clears throat> then a buyer cannot, can create a PO, but cannot enter a goods receipt for it. No, no. That's so a person who has ME21N or ME22N authorization should not have MIGO access or MB01, whichever system you are in. So a person who have ME21N and is creating purchase order, he should not be able to create a purchase acquisition also. Okay, so that's a no-no. Uh, you cannot do that. Okay, so the next portion is a buyer can create a contract and scheduling line item. Yeah, they can. A buyer can create an RFQ, request for quotation from a vendor, of course. A buyer can approve service entry sheet. Okay, sometimes they can approve. Okay, it's fine. Um, they cannot enter a service entry sheet. Okay, sometimes the buyers, this can be green or yellow. Okay, sometimes it can be red also. A buyer can approve a contract. Okay, because that's their process. It's but these, the reds, these are complete red, red, red. And uh, this can be red or yellow. Okay. So this is very important. Now, once you go to the system, you know, uh, the system is pretty easy. You have to build a change history, change history report and accordingly. Uh, or you can do it. You should be having a BAP report that you can build pretty easily and find all the defaults. Okay. And there can be cases where there is, you know, a buyer has created a purchase order and have uh, approved an invoice. That's fine. But a buyer has created a purchase order and updated the vendor master for that particular instance. That's a very dangerous thing. Okay. Uh, it can be litigation. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And we'll be covering other roles in the respective videos. Thank you and have a great day.